Hi, I'm Hookshot. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Last time we uh, just met Lois, and um, she's part of our party now. So we're gonna go on some more quests, see what we can find out about our, you know, mysterious collars that stop us from using Source, and see if we can escape for Joy. All right. So last time I didn't do any combat in the last episode. I think we'll uh, change that now and go kill some small uh, creatures that were near the start. So we're just going to walk over there now. Still need to find a shovel for this. Which is uh, annoying. Now where am I going? Just this way. I still love the ability to be able to fully rotate the map. It's just a godsend from Divinity 1. It allows you to really view the beautiful nature of the game. Oh, the Red Prince. That's one of the um, other origin stories. We'll go do our fight first, then we'll talk to him and see what that is. I wonder if... Lois is one of the other origin stories. I can't remember. I'll have to check it out next time. Oh, hey, they're fighting for me. Oh, that's right, they would have come down here. Don't kill it! Oh. You idiots. They actually froze themselves. Grimace had dead creatures and suggests that these must have been what attacked your ship. Not in sacred ruins, a lot of people died because of these beasts. Hmm, I wonder. They're just animals. What would Iphen say? Yes. Alright, uh, let's talk to these guards. It's not what I wanted. I, I don't want to... Thank you for your help. Glad to see we're on the same side after all. It's a blessing on all of all of those Void Woken didn't make it into the camp. No, oh, I'm using the wrong person. Oh! Yeah, so she is one of the origin stories because I can use her special whatever it is uh, tag tell her not to break her brain trying to understand everything last a, a dice roll anyway oh in Divinity Original Sin 1 you couldn't use the companions to talk to people as well so this is really good <laughs> blood hasn't got a thing to do with it no matter what some might tell you, it's the source running through the, that's trouble. But we'll cure you right up here in the fort, that I can promise you. I still don't believe that's going to happen. There was an explosion of source magic on the ship that was transporting you here. That might have had something to do with it. What do you mean, an explosion? What happened? Uh, let's tell the whole story. What have I got to lose? Broke free from her collar? Gods, just when you think things can't get worse. I hope the rumours are true then, and Dallas gone and found the cure already. Anyhow, that ain't just your concern just yet. You ought to head in. Get yourself settled. Find something to eat. Try and get comfortable, you hear? This place isn't a punishment, it's a protection. Hmm, alright, that's 0% helpful. Gonna try and find some combat. Oh, we're gonna talk to the Red Prince as well, I forgot that. Still gonna try and find some combat and then we'll talk to the Red Prince. The Hidden Alcove. It does, does it not? Um, do we have 
Any sort of fire? Oh, there it goes. Oh, I felt there should have been a sound effect there. Oh, what's down there? Corpse of an elf. Can I get down there at all? Alright, it runs under the city. Or the small town, the fort. Oh, there's a chest there. I don't know how to get it. Try it. We'll work that out later. Oh, some secret little people. Coral. You hear small whimpering sounds from behind a basket. You peer behind it to find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. Place a hand on her head and softly whisper, shh. The child quiet and seems comforted by her presence. She looks up with curious eyes. Ask her why she was crying. Tell her to come down. Squint and say she looks just like a warrior princess you used to know. Xena, the warrior princess. A wide grin cracks across the child's face through her tears, showing two big gaps where her front teeth should be. She laughs. Really? Yeah, we're a princess girl. You're nice. You can have this. I found it outside, but I can't read it. That's next year. Then I'll learn it. The child wipes her eyes, grinning, plunks herself down the earth and ground. She starts tracing shapes, hearts, stars, and diamonds into the dirt. What'd she give me? Mysterious letter. Ben Mez. Tidings of a most... Hey, this is for me. Tidings of a most surprising and delightful nature. Though you thought him perished along with your wife, we can assure you that your son is alive and well in our care. To be reunited, seek Magister Boris in the ghetto. Tell nobody and come alone, a friend. Hmm. Doesn't sound good, does it? I wonder if she knows anything. I mean no harm. Please just get... Oh, fine then, whatever. What a mean pants. Come here, try and help a child even though I'm the villain. Ooh, auto saving. What's that mean? Oh, there's turtles or tortoises. They're turtles. I can't remember the difference. Oh. Oh, that was odd. Okay, um. Takes one AP. That turtle's in water. We're going to use our shocking. Yeah. Oh, that turtle has a lot of armor. Try and... Oh, no. I froze my guy. No. It's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that. So I'm liking the two bars here. It shows like who's got left in this round and the full round ahead next. I think that's really good. Hmm. Can probably kill this. Yep, just. And have to end my turn. And hope these don't kill me. Ooh, that's uh, painful. Battering ram. Blinding radiance. You become radiant for a turn. Enemies around you will be blinded. Enemies that face you receive. That's a cool spell. Haha! -ha. So they have armor that we take down? Is, is that what I'm gathering from that? Gonna give you some restoration. And try and kill this. Oh yes! The extra damage on that first hit got us. Got us there. I didn't try 
the battering ram. That would have been good. Ooh. These turtles in their armor. How did she freeze herself? Never mind. And sure, I'll take a fish. Fossil strikes from Mage's gloves. I feel that's good for her lice. Looks like lice. Put some gloves on. What do they do? Six magic armor. That's really good. Soggy die. First night here. Don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dry bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say it survived it in combat. Comfort. Group of dumb brutes shook me down for my bread. We'll have to get smart if I want to eat. Met an old fisherman named Rad. Taught me how to make a net. Rad's gone. Dumb bridge took my net. At least the meanest one got took in the night, getting hungry. I always was a strong swimmer. Waters around here are pretty glassy. Can't be much more than a few miles ashore, can it? Well, I feel like you were wrong. I swallowed too much seawater, apparently. That's what you get, sir. Ooh, a chest. Do I... I have a lockpick. Uh, here we go. No. Use. But will it open? Oh, that's just... Oh, I wasted my lockpick on it. That's unfortunate. Oh, there's a crate there. With nothing in it. What a surprise. The game just won't give me anything. Yeah, we'll do a bit more searching then go talk to the Red Prince. But I don't have anything for digging. I thought I saw a glint, but that was probably just whatever was in the water. Or the reflection of the water, even. Whisperwood. I'm not going to pick that up. No, I don't think there's anything more up here in this hidden alcove. It wasn't so hidden. I, like, walked straight into it. I guess it's the start of the game, too. Is there anything in here? Oh, a helmet. I'm sort of a warrior. If I can lock that again. Ah, oh, you know, we're getting so equipped now. Fight's gonna be so much better. And out of the hidden alcove. I don't know, it seemed a bit obvious to me. Oops, okay, so tab gets your weapons out. I'm not sure why I pressed it. Huh, is something down here? No. Alright. Ah! Toy crossbow and some gold. At least there was something. I feel like there's going to be lots of little secrets like that. Ooh, we were going to talk to Red Prince Man. The Red Prince is his name. I wonder if he has a name about besides that. Um, can't actually remember where he was. Ooh. Coming soon, party dialogues. Well, it is early access. Bottle of beer. No, nah, can't get out there. A tong. Hmm. 
shell. Uh, nothing there. Oh good, we can walk around there. Make my life much easier. What? What are you doing? Alright, Red Prince. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is a bright blood red colour. Never before have you seen a lizard such as this. Hmm, greet him casually. Casually remark he should find a place in the shade. Looks like he's been standing in the sun for too long. Gleefully sneak up on him with the intention of pushing him into the sea. Leave him to his ruminations. Yeah, I'll make this one. It's the sun joke. Let's pay out the resident lizard. He's not going to attack us. Narrator. The lizard turns towards you with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. He looks you up and down with a less than impressed expression. I suppose that was what passes as clever remark in your neck of the bog, I should think. Say you're intrigued by the colour of his skin. This is the first time you've ever seen a red lizard. Notice that he seems to be quite alone. Did he ever consider looking for companionship? I go with the first one. Because I am intrigued. Because I actually didn't see this race in the first um, divinity at all. That's because I'm the only one. They call me the Red Prince. The spouse of the sun. They say that when I was born, the sun didn't set for seven days. So an abbot was she with the little red me. I feel that's a lie. What's your birth got to do with the sun? Be that as it may, I fancy I was rather lucky to be born a prince. It made me made them celebrate my uniqueness. Had I been common war, they might have just drowned me in a well. I noticed that he seems to be quite alone. Did you ever consider ask if perhaps it was his birthright he was contemplating a matter of life and death, it seems? Yes. No, not quite, no. One doesn't usually ponder what one takes for granted. Life and death, though. Life and death. I don't know why I would even tell you this, but... At this precise, this defining moment in time, I'm quite beyond the vanities that would otherwise impede me. I find my mind wandering along the wall-like frontier of suicide, you see. To scale it, or not to scale it, that is my conundrum. Hmm, I'm gonna go with the uh, unique iPhone one. The impulse can be a strong one. It can, it is. I gaze over the abhorrence of the wasteland that is life, and I shudder. So why not draw the line? I was born into this world of prints, have I... Not the right to leave it with a prince's dignity? Mm, say that above all, he has the right to climb back out of the abyss. Why doesn't he join you? You intend to escape from this isle. He is free to do what he pleases. Perhaps that is the last freedom he still has. Hmm. He probably won't commit suicide. He's just going to stand there. I often don't need no companionship. He has loose. The crazy lady. Alright. Where to next? I feel like, you know, that's a, that's a good point. We met the Red Prince. We did some combat. So, uh, thanks for watching. And if you, you liked it, maybe put a comment or uh, subscribe. See you again next time.